Greetings gamer girls, I am Celestine and also Cold Clocks in the Night, and welcome back to more Spooky Sounds of Jump Scares. Last time, we ended this grand adventure and saw both endings. Ooh, excuse me. And today, we are going to, um... I did mention that every specimen has their own death screen, and I'm going to be showing all of them. So, let's get right to it. Now, as you know, specimen 1 does not have a death screen because, well, it cannot kill you. You know, that actually would be kind of a fun idea. If specimen 1... It's popped out of Ron, and it has like a very, very, very slim chance of, of, uh, of kill it, of actually killing you. I think that would be hilarious. I should submit that to Akuma Kara. All right, now it's view specimen two's death screen. I know what you have done, and I know what you do, but it's alright because I'm inside you now. You are one, but I am many. Game over. Your soul wanders in endless maze. Alright, now on to the next specimen. Oh, um, here's something actually kind of rare. Uh, <clears throat> you know, you uh, know how specimen one can actually sometimes be holding notes? Well, apparently, I actually ran into a room that actually had two notes in it, and well, for some reason it says the exact same thing. But, let's just... It, all right, I was about to chop you off, but I don't have the axe. All right. Now, I should mention that uh, not all specimens have their own death screen. Looks really weird. Specimen 3 being one of them, it does not have a death screen. So, yeah. Uh, but <clears throat> before we head on to... <clears throat> excuse me. On to uh, Specimen 4, I actually am kind of curious what will happen if you die to some of these, uh... Go these, uh, ghost students. There's more of them. We gotta get some before health regenerates. Wow, that's it. Okay. I actually want to say something right here. You see this painting with, like, the red thing with no face? I have kind of an awkward history with it. Um, I, I was, like, in room 900, and I was getting chased by Specimen 11. Apparently, I jerked at it too fast, and apparently I thought that Specimen 11 was that thing over there. Uh, I don't really know how that worked, but... Whatever, I just thought... I Probably just my mind playing tricks on me. Whatever, let's just show Specimen 4 death screen. Oh, she's glitching in... She's glitching inside us. Hush, my child. You're safe now. Yeah, that's what she does. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I don't think I saved. I don't think I saved when uh, when we when I got to room 150. Oh well. Um, it's kind of funny, is uh, yeah, I didn't save. Oh what? Oh wow. Um, graphical glitch much? <laughs> That's not supposed to happen. Um. Anyways, um. Uh, I guess I could say I kind of have an awkward, uh, I'll, I'll, I, uh, that, uh, as you know, Specimen 4 was the first specimen I died to, probably along with a lot of other specimens, but, I mean, with a lot of people, excuse me, yeah, the specimen, the other specimens, apparently she got so hungry she ate all the other specimens, anyway, but no, um, but no, uh, Specimen 4 was the, uh, first one I ever, like, you know, died to, and, like, when I did and, like, saw that jump scare of hers, oh, man, like, that was, I was like, wow, do, do all the specimens have a, have a jump scare like that? Man, I guess that's why it's called Spooky has Jump Scares, not just Specimen 1. Uh, anyways, I'll see you guys in Specimen 5's room. Hey there. Uh, I always wonder what's back here. Oh, there's not really anything in- Oh, god, she's corn- it's corn on us. And 
and I think Specimen 3 and 5 are the only two that don't really have a death screen, or what? I don't really know. I think maybe the old Specimen 10 doesn't, but whatever. Uh, what's kind of, uh, there's actually, believe it or not, there's actually, well, there's actually a glitch that can happen sometimes where you, uh, if, um, you get, if you lose all your health to Specimen 10, uh, Specimen 5, uh, you actually, um, will not actually die. Instead, it'll just disappear, and, like, the, the effects will just disappear, and then, uh, and then, um, and then, like, your, your health will, like, be, be completely depleted, but then I'll just restore, like, once you get to the next room. Yeah, but I personally think, I personally don't think it's a, it's a good idea to rely on that. Like, I really don't. So, if you want to, you can. Not like it could stop you, but anyways, on to Specimen 6. You know, I gotta say, looking more, more at him, I think Specimen 6 is actually made from, a. Uh, Where'd he go? Is actually made from, a uh, from, a uh, 2D, 3D models than 2D art, even though it's sprites 2D. Those fingers look way too realistic. To become a puppet, to rid oneself pain of harshness choice. Now nothing you do is your fault. You now belong to something. You belong to me. So he turned us into a puppet, making making nothing we do our fault. Wow, talk about messed up textures. I think Specimen 5 could really distort reality if it tried. And unfortunately, no rant, no, un, no unlucky specimen encounter. By the way, some people complained that I didn't get Iva Specimen Seven a good enough look, so I'm gonna go into this room and just uh, show it a bit more. And wow, that is really big. See, we just got absorbed with it, and apparently I was wrong. Specimen 3 and uh, 3 and 5 are the only ones that don't have a death screen. But yeah, instant kill. Like those ghost students, I'm kind of cu <coughs> curious what would happen if you died to the violent deer as well. <laughs> I like how they're just like orbiting me. Wow, that's it. Apparently more enemies than I thought had <clears throat> no death screen. Alright, and I kind of took a little bit of damage from some of those jerks back there. You know, like Specimen 5, I kind of always wonder what was behind here. Oh, there's nothing in... Oh, but it's Specimen 5 all over again. Submit! Join! Well, I'm doing as you say. And I saw, for my eyes were not mine, and I felt with a fear I could not reason. They watched, they invade us, and they keep us happy, committing treason to the king we didn't deserve, to someone who waits weeping, that I knew from knowledge game while sleep, sleeping. Real quick, I want to mention is that there's actually two ways you can die to, uh, specimen, to specimen, uh, specimen nine. And I am that way as well. Well, the first one, of course, is being idle for too long. But the second is if you were to run down this really long hallway. Notice it's closing. It's it's slowly closing in on us. 
Why is my heart beating? I don't know why. We're almost at the light. Can we move anymore? Oh wait, never mind. It... Oh, did I just glitch the game? Why can't we move it? Uh, what's going on? Oh God, specimen nine. I should mention this uh, video was pre-recorded a long time ago. Uh, this part of the video, uh, this small part. But yeah, I just wanted to show that that that's actually what happens if you go down the uh, really long hallway. You get ambushed by specimen nine. Now we are back in the older update because I also want to show uh, spe old specimen ten screen. I don't know if it has one, but let's see. Oh, it's scary. No, it doesn't have one. Now for the new specimen 10, I've never actually seen what happens if you uh, get hit by the old, the head of the old specimen 10. Let's see what happens. Oh, nothing. Oh, geez. Oh God, that's scary. Uh, let's actually go into the next room so we can, uh, we can see it attack us in its second form. Hey buddy, how's it going? That actually seems really scary considering it's parasitic infections. Now you have nothing to fear. Now you have nothing to think. Follow your selfish desires. Follow your natural instinct. After all, you're just an animal. It's much easier than trying to think. I read these fast because they go kind of fast. Uh, <laughs> uh, you might have noticed uh, there was like a little bit of binary in that. Uh, that actually is a binary code. Um, let me see if I can find it. Uh, yes, that binary actually translates to, you are more than just an animal. Use the soul you've been given and be responsible for your actions. So, basically saying the opposite of uh, what Specimen 6 says. Okay, let's go. Okay, now before we do uh, Specimen 11, um, I actually um, have something... Well, if we got, if you're, first of all, if you're wondering why I did not... Um, I'm, I didn't show uh, Specimen 9 when you wait for too long... For some reason, I just, I am, I don't know why, but for some reason, I just cannot get, like, time-based events to work. Whether it's, whether it's Specimen 9, or that whale that's supposed to appear in Room 900 in that underwater room or whatever. Anyways, we're gonna do, um, Specimen, uh, Specimen 11 now. And I don't think he appears in this room, so we're just going to go outside. Oh, he does appear in that room. Now, this is probably my favorite of them. This, apparently, this is what they meant by victim souls don't me don't remain on contact, and we can't sprint nor can we swing our axe. I'm assuming we're naked in here. <laughs> okay, that was bad. I'm sorry. Oh, there's very slight ambiance in here. Very quiet, and I didn't even know. So, so the uh, sound. F oh, this is the meat hallway. Yeah, apparently. I'm just I'm just looking at the spooky wiki right now because there's some they actually I uh, like specimen ten uh, specimen eleven actually has a binary and it, it said no and no with every bite and says get the temple of Pagora click uh, his temple is then bad effect 
Uh, there's also some binary there that translates to uh, believe in God, but question the teaching of some men. Also, I cannot believe I seriously forgot to say that second thing that I wanted to say when, we, when I told you about why I can't get Specimen 9 to work. Basically, what I was going to say was um, after I um, I did a Specimen 10, well, I guess I, when, I was, when I was running away from it, uh, I actually ran into Specimen 6 at room 666. Jeez, if that's not evil, then I don't know what is. Because honestly, after how long and how hard specimen, uh, specimen 10 is, yeah, getting running into Specimen 6 after that is not really weird. It's not really uh, fun. Especially considering, again, I encountered him at room 666. I'm dead freaking serious. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if Spooky did that on purpose. Uh, the reason I'm hiding is... Oh god, it's already 9 o'clock. Man, I've been recording a lot today. Um... Anyways, the reason I'm hiding is because I've never seen what happens if you actually exit. Oh, jeez! Just get the heck out of me. Apparently we were right on top of him when we were... Apparently we were right on top of him when we came out, but... Basically... Like I said, the host of Specimen 12 is instant kill, but he has the same death screen as he does if he if you uh, die to him outside. So, yeah, nothing really to show there. Let's just move on to Specimen 9. Hopefully, hopefully we'll find the arcade room there too. And here we go. One of my personal favorite specimens, but what? But my but probably one of my least favorite death screens. Looks beautiful right then and there with that beautiful lips. But then beyond that hair is her true face. Yes, that's actually Well you didn't really get to see it because of the freaking glitchy freaking glitchiness, but Yes. Her true face is really skull skull like. Whatever. Let's just let's just go. I'm gonna head to the final boss. Okay, now I'm actually really curious to see what would happen if I touch this one of these things. Oh, it just does damage. Alright. About to be punching the balls. Ouch. By the way, I should mention that uh, Specimen 9's normal theme song is called Amputated, Amputated Marshmallow. And the last... And the theme that when it catches you it's called sour lemon yeah i don't get it either but um now the last thing i want to show before we end before we end it is i want to show you the what it's up with this uh, brain room and why i wanted to find it in the uh in the um and why i wanted to find it in the game in the 900s well here's why Okay, after <clears throat> after a while, after we now that we have uh, shown off all of these spe these specimen uh, specimen death screens, and after like forever searching, we found the brain room in uh, the after the room the hundreds. And when you and when you approach it, look what happens. One thousand two hundred thirty-five. What could that possibly mean? Well, let's see if we can find the arcade room, and we'll find out. Now for the last thing to show in the entire game. Now, I, now, uh, by the way, I don't think I mentioned this, but the um, the um, final boss music is called um, Fried Calamari. Um, anyways, um, so the the numbers we got from the brain room, it seems like it could be some kind of code, right? But that begs the question: Where do you input such a code? Well, remember. Okay, first of all, the cat dose Easter eggs only happen in room 900 or higher. The brain Easter egg only happens on 900, in room 900 and higher. And only in room 900 or higher uh, can you go up to this broken arcade machine, press space, and there's a password window that comes up. Uh, and you want to enter that code in here. One, two, three, five.
I just wanted to be taken seriously. I wanted to scare people. They overreacted, but I don't blame them. At least I finally scared someone. So it seems we learned a little bit about Spooky's backstory. Seems Spooky just wanted to. Seems Spooky. It, spooky just wanted to scare people, but she couldn't because she was too cute. And when she finally scared someone, they killed her. And that's why she's a ghost, and why she's wrecking her revenge on this mansion. But with that, guys. That is all there is to show in Spooky has the jump scares. But there is one more thing I want to show. It's that a little later, um, after uh, Spooky's release, um, Akuma Kira, like this one ha when uh, Spooky's was released on Steam, released a DLC with much more stuff. And I'm going to be playing that DLC if I can find it on the internet because for some reason, because for some reason it, did, it it wasn't on my flash drive nor was it on Mega or Google Drive. I have no idea what happened. But anyways. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and and thank you so much for watching me play this game. And as always, remember to smile. You were the face of Clone Flex, then the Gaming. Goodbye.